Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving for a geometric sequence. A sub n is a geometric sequence and we are given two equations. A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 is equal to 21. And so these, this is the sum of the first three terms. We're also given the sum of the squares of the first three terms. And we're going to try to find the sequence from here. All right, let's get started. So since this is a geometric sequence, we can basically write a sub 2 and a sub 3 in terms of the first term. So I can write it as a sub 2 can be written as a sub 1 times r. And the third term, which is a sub 3, can be written as a sub 1 times r squared. So let's go ahead and make the replacements and let's see what happens. The first equation can be written as a1 a1r a1r squared and that is going to give us 21 and the second equation can be written as a1 squared and I'm going to replace a sub 2 or a a2 that's what I just keep saying you know a sub 2 and a2 mean the same thing basically I can just write the a2 as a1r but I need to square it and the same thing goes for a3 which I can write as a1r squared and then I have to square it. Okay. Now I have two equations and I have two variables so we should be able to solve this since it's a special type of sequence. I'd like to start with the second one because the second one is going to be divided by the first one. That's what I'd like to do. So let's write the second equation as a1 squared, a1 squared, r squared, a1 squared r to the fourth power equals 189. And then the second equation can be written as obviously the same way. So let's go ahead and do something on the second equation first. I meant the first equation. So here's my second equation and I would like to take out a1 squared. That's going to give me 1 plus r squared plus oops. I guess I overwrote the r um, r squared plus r to the fourth power is equal to 189 and from this equation I can pretty much do the same thing just take out an a1 and we get 1 plus r plus r squared. Now we can just go ahead and divide these equations side by side let's go ahead and do that. If we do divide the first equation I mean the second equation by the first one obviously the one of the a1s will cancel out and 21 goes into 189 exactly nine times so that's kind of good. So we get the following, 1 plus r squared plus r to the fourth power multiplied by a1 divided by 1 plus r plus r squared equals 9. Okay, so this is kind of nice, but mo we can make this better, obviously, because 1 plus r squared plus r to the fourth is factorable. Now, why is it factorable? Because it, it can be written as difference of two squares. So here's what we can do. I can write it as r to the fourth plus r squared plus one and then this can be written as r to the fourth plus two r squared plus one minus r squared. So I added r squared and then subtracted it and then we get a perfect square from here. So this is r squared plus one quantity squared minus r quantity squared whatever. And then from here we can safely say that r squared plus one plus r from difference of two squares this is factorable. And of course, if you arrange the terms and write it in a nicer way, we get the following. Going back to this expression here, we get a1 multiplied by the factors, which is 1 plus r plus r squared times 1 minus r plus r squared. And then the bottom is just going to be 1 plus r plus r squared. And that is going to give us 9. And here we can see that these two terms are going to cancel out. And so we get a nicer expression. Let's go ahead and rewrite it. We have a1 times 1 minus r plus r squared equals 9. Great. So we got an equation, but we do need something else. Well, we already have something else. So now I can go ahead and use this along with my first or second equation. It doesn't really matter which one you want to use, but we got to use one of these. Which one is going to be a better choice? Obviously, at this point, I want to use the one that has an a1, not a1 squared. And that is going to be this one. So I'm going to rewrite my first equation in this form, of course. So that's going to look like a1 
multiply by 1 plus r plus r squared and as you remember it is equal to 21 okay now this is what we can do we can divide these equations side by side again and let's see what happens when we do things are going to simplify because we're going to get rid of a1 and from here we can just do cross multiplication well let's go ahead and simplify 9 over 21 which we can write it as 3 over 7 and then do the cross multiplication when we do the cross multiplication we're going to get 7 minus 7r plus 7r squared equals 3 plus 3r plus 3r squared let's put everything on the same side and we'll come up with a quadratic 4r squared subtract 3r from negative 7r that's going to give us negative 10r and then subtract 3 from the 7 and that's going to give us 4 now you can divide both sides by 2 2r squared minus 5r plus 2 equals 0 and this can be solved using the quadratic formula and let's see um, what our values we're going to get from here okay so if we solve we're going to get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a which is 4 4 times 4 is 16 25 minus 16 is 9 so that means the solutions are rational and we could find out by factoring this is factorable it's not hard to factor you can use the x method but anyways this is going to be like 5 plus minus the square root of 9 which is going to be a 3 from uh, here and divide by 4 so r is either 5 plus 3 divided by 4 which is 1 half i mean 2 not 1 half 8 divided by 4 or 5 minus 3 divided by 4 which is 1 half so we have two possible values for r and let's see why that's happening okay so if r is equal to 2 and obviously uh, we have the following a1 plus a2 plus a3 let me tell you why that's happening because this could also be written backwards right you can start with uh, the first term and then just multiply by 2 or if you start with the last term and you could divide by 2 so pretty much the same idea but how do you find how do you find the first term from here since you know r you should be able to find the first term right and obviously we do have you know a nice equation you can use either one let's just use the first one so we have a1 multiply by uh, well it doesn't really matter like 9 either 9 or 21 because we got the 9 from division remember that and uh, we had the originally we had the 21 so let's go ahead and use the 21 that's one of the original equations so that's going to be like 1 plus r plus r squared and that is equal to 21 so let's go ahead and replace r with 2 first if r is equal to 2 then we get a1 multiply by 1 plus 2 plus 1 uh, 1 plus 2 plus 4 which is 7 and from here we get a1 is equal to 3 obviously this gives you 3 6 and 12 and when you plug it in you're going to get the answer it's going to satisfy the other equation if r is equal to 1 half then you're going to get a different first term obviously plugging into the equation a1 multiply by 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth is equal to 21 from here you're basically going to be getting uh, if you make a common denominator you're going to get 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is 7 so 7 fourths and if you cross cancel this is going to be a 3 and a1 is just going to be 12 which means that your terms are going to be 12 6 and 3 so basically we're going to be ending up with the same set of numbers but just it's just the ordering that matters so to keep a long story short to keep a long story short we're going to get 3 6 and 12 in different orders as our final result and this brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye